Hi there, that's right, it's Nick Dutch back on the camera yet again. And I just want to share with you uh, a personal experience that I've had recently with reference to self-healing, or what could be roughly called self-healing. Uh, I've always suffered with digestive problems, and um, I had a meal earlier on, and I really wanted to eat it because I hadn't eaten for hours and hours and hours and hours. But I started to feel rather sickly, rather nauseous. Because I was quite tired, because I've been doing things all day since about 3 o'clock in the morning, no, 2 o'clock in the morning actually, uh, I thought I could use my tiredness and try and go into a meditative state and try and do some form of self-healing on my stomach so I could then continue to eat my meal so I could still feel full and be nourished and have good healthy food going into me. So basically I used my tiredness and I went into a very slow, low, an evidently low brainwave frequency. I, I felt it as being slow. I felt it as being um, without all the uh, complexity of thought that goes through my head during a waking day. And I tried to increase the quantity of awareness that I had of my stomach and gut and digestive area. And I did this through trying to become more aware of the blood circulating, the feeling of the heart beating in my digestion. Right? And trying to work out where I had discomfort and where I didn't have discomfort and trying to hold the mind on those parts of my body. And sometimes when you're doing one of these um, visualizations or meditations to try and become more aware of your body, you can go through moments when it, you're very conscious of it and then you become less conscious of it and more conscious and less conscious. And basically I'm just trying to force it to occur. Well, forcing it is the wrong word, which I'm trying to allow it to occur, to encourage it to occur. And I added to this uh, visualization, um, I'm bearing in mind that the human mind seems to work through symbols and psychosomatic hallucinations are uh, often hallucinations of physical things or seeing physical things which seem to represent or have similar sorts of shape and form and function as the part of the body or maybe the position of the body as I've mentioned in a previous video seeing I know an infestation in your attic or in your loft uh, if you've got like a migraine or a headache because like the attic is up there so is your head now I chose to visualize caves and almost if I was going potholing through caves to try and symbolize something low down, maybe low down in the body, like the digestive system, and to think about um, you know all the tubing and all the pipe work of your digestive system as well. And and I try to use the meditation state, I use the visualization, and I in my mind's eye I talk to it, saying you know relax, let it flow, let it happen, and that kind of mood and ideas. Um, I also made sure that my feet were very firmly planted on the ground and and I could visualize and think about my weight distribution through my feet and I thought about the ground and the rocks beneath me trying to enhance the psychosomatic effect because what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do in this particular exercise is psychosomatic healing of sorts, to enable me to help the circulation, to help the muscular movements of stuff going through the through the guts. Um, and I was quite pleased with the result because the result was instead of wanting to throw up, which is what I was at the beginning of the meal, I was able to get a substantial quantity of the way through the meal. So I now know that you know I've had the right quantity of nutritious, healthy food for this part of the, of the day. And I wanted to give you this example to show you that things which come under the um, category, so to speak, of magic or the occult have some very real day-to-day -day applications if you can use your intelligence and creativity enough.
to apply them. Just a few thoughts for the here and now. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.